Hey guys, in this lesson we'll be looking for a pose for our characters. And for it, I'm going to use Pinterest. So, go to Pinterest and register in case you don't have an account. Once there, you can create boards and save in the, those pictures you like. As you can see, I'm looking for male poses. I'll try to pick interesting poses that I like the most for my characters. However, it will depend on what you want to draw and the idea, the idea you have in mind. Perhaps you're going to get some inspiration after looking for poses. The aim here is that as you look for references, you get some ideas not only to use as an inspiration for your poses, but also to get different possibilities. We'll also look for feminine poses in order to get similar poses, but not the same. This way, both characters will have similar personalities, but different at the same time. Although you've already decided on your pose, these references may be of great help and you may be inspired by them. This way you can change your option or add a different touch. I recommend you to use all those poses that you like. However, pick those where the whole body is visible, in case you are going to draw a full-length pose or those easy for you to draw. Bear in mind that if you pick a complex pose, you may get confused when drawing, especially if you are a beginner. Be clear about your level and your knowledge of anatomic drawing and choose the poses according to it. Well, after choosing the poses, go to the board section and check the poses you saved. Let's begin with male poses. What I'm going to do is to carefully analyze those I like the most and check if their composition or the pose itself fits in my own character's idea. Having a look at all the saved poses is a good idea to see which one you prefer. I think I really like this one and he seems really cool. We're going to use this one for the feminine pose as well. If you look closely, this other pose is similar to the other one. It's also really cool, but more feminine, so I think they will look great in my drawings. Well guys, so we've already selected the poses, and in the next lesson we'll be looking for outfits and clothes that fit in our composition. See you there!